Hey guys, welcome back to Toys Mini. This is going to be a special episode here where I kind of combine toys with orc bits to make stand ins for uh, weird boys, some vehicles, and some more bosses. So let's get to it. So, to start off, this group I actually made a good while ago. There was a toy set or kind of a figure set called Heroscape, I'm pretty sure. And they came with all sorts of uh, figures. And I think I've uh, used some in my other toy minis before. But I had these old figures anyway. And the basis of these guys are these robots that came in, in the base set. I, I'll, I'll pop it up here and you'll see which one I'm on about. Um, the base set itself. But And then I'm gonna, I'll show you what this guy was originally. So. This is what he looks like, uh, so he's a war boss, I'd say a warlord almost, <laughs> he's pretty fucking massive, like that claw is legit, um, and it's, it's, you can take it out as well. So just a lot of work, kind of putting different bits in, like you see this little Gretchen kind of green skin looking guy, was from Mantic Games, he's like mooning or whatever, um, which, which I'm pretty sure they would do. And this was kind of my first kind of few conversions, like you won't notice a lot of rivets, they're kind of a... Uh, clean up work we'll say and this is about my standard of painting kind of just get it done get some get some paint on it and uh, I should really come, go back to this guy but you'll see like just shoot that arm so that was it's the basic body is the robot anyway from the from the set that I've shown you this is like a sentinel uh, imperial guard whatever they're called now sentinel leg using the arm used as an arm and then all sorts built on top of it he got, I think he's got a gun for an eye because I thought that was a pretty orky thing to do. He's got a slugger for an eye. He's got the iron gob, he's got bits, he's got some marines, he's got a guy. Because I thought, how does he load his gun, you know? If his other arm is a big claw, you know, maybe maybe I'm thinking about it with too much sense. But this Gretchen is here for that. The claw is like bits of bionicles, this here. And uh, this is the claw from, um, what should we call it? Uh, Black Reach or whatever it's called. Assault on something or other. You know the one with all the orcs in it. And this is, you know, straws and all pipes and stuff like that. I should really smoke this up as well. But this guy was made a good while ago. Um, and I, this is when I got into the dipping as well. I don't know if I went a bit overboard with this guy. Or maybe I should fix it up. Like this looks a bit gawky here. But the idea of it, I, I like. Because the size of him, like, this is my um, kind of go-to uh, scale orc. Like, that's a nice big warlord, do you know what I mean? Figure's always better for orcs, but and the claw is mat like <laughs> his claw is like the size of, a, of an orc, if not bigger. So that's all good. Then for his kind of uh, mega armored knobs that hang around with him, two more little robot guys came in the set as well, which is the basis of these guys. So I clipped their arms off and gave them orc arm stuff and kind of used bits from the knob box and that because uh, you get a decent few extra bits in that to uh, extend them. You know, shooters and what's this chainsaw. Rocket launcher, shooter, yeah, that'll do. Some pipes, you know, this is headphone wire for my headphones that go through. And uh, not, not in, like, not any servos or anything like this to make it actually make sense of how they move, just, you know, uh, just stick it all together and make it look cool. And you'll notice there's not a lot of rivet work in it. This is before I kind of got into that. So they look a bit, I don't know, they could look better in my opinion, but I think for the first few that I kind of made, I'm pretty happy with them. Nice different poses. I think they're um, they've got enough armor on them to be mega armor, in my opinion. Anyway, this guy's got a flamer and two shooters. Okay, yeah. I kind of just put whatever on it to make it look cool. Then I came back and I, I went and got two more on eBay just to kind of extend the pack. And uh, this guy's pretty cool. I like his pose, and he's kind of got the big. What is this? Oh, he's got a heavy flamer. Um, so also it's really, there's some green stuff here. The banner on all of them just just because. I'm gonna be flexing, you know, he's got some tau bits on his base and stuff like this. But yeah, you'll see the kind of gloss finish on them from the, from the dip as well. It's kind of hard to control and I don't know. Like I said, I think I kind of went over the top. And this guy, same thing again. Like this guy could really do with some riveting. He's got even a uh, battle suit arm here and he's got big ass guns on this side. But yeah, it's just, they all just count as uh, mega armor guys, um, because those sets are really expensive. I, think, I don't think I've ever actually bought one properly, I just got them off eBay or whatever. But yeah, so that's them. Next up, this guy's a bit of a weird one, I suppose, yeah, weird boy. The base of this model is a uh, Monsters in My Pockets, I think, figure. I'll try and find it, I'll, I'll prop it up, and you'll see kind of the pose and everything. Basically, all I did, if it'll focus, is chopped off half his head, 
and put an orky bottom on the bo- on the bottom of his head to make him look like an orc for one and kind of give him that weird dumb shaped head that maybe a big brained uh, weird boy would have. I suppose uh, according to the Lord they're not exact they're not necessarily smart, they're just crazy, but uh, I could have done better work, we'll say blending the two in. He looks quite scarred. But uh and then you know the shoulder pad from the wrecking ball, I think from a truck. And this banner just for I don't know to, to put on, on the base for a little bit more interest and some uh, transfers. But uh yeah I think he works. He's alright. He's kind of a weird one. But he fits in okay with, with the green skin and everything like that. So all the guys in this uh, video have been made over the course of a, a decent a decent amount of time. But th- these three here are actually originally Warcraft miniatures, uh, like World of Warcraft, but they had a miniatures game at one point. And I saw them on eBay and I kind of researched kind of scale wise. And these were just for fun really. So I think this was Troll or, oh, geez, what is it? I'm, I'm not really up to my lore on, on Warcraft. But uh, yeah, you'll see he's very shiny from the, from the dipping. But this guy, he's got a Savage Orc head. Well, and I gave him just the tongue sticking out, just for fun, really. Uh, and I really like the pose. I don't see. I don't know what he'd be used as. Um, so the, the little figure anyway came with a hammer, like a doom hammer. So I think whoever had the doom hammer, Orgrimmar. I I don't know really. I'm not very good. But this is actually a piece of Lego. This is a Lego brick because I, I wanted to be kind of brutal and simple. So it just looked like cement, or it just looks like solid, and it's just chipped and stuff like that. But I think it just looks class, just how, how brutal and simple it is. Like I was going to put some spikes on it and stuff, but I think it came out better that way. And I just really like the pose. I kind of wish I didn't put the shoot, um, the slugger on it, or whichever slugger shooter looks more like a slugger to me. But just because I think kind of wrecks it. But I thought if it was to be a war boss or even a knob with a, a huge chopper, then um, they'd, they'd have to have some sort of gun on it. But yeah, scale wise, like to a normal, he's not massive, but the the pose is just awesome. And that's why I kind of went for the Savage Orc head expression over a just a knob armored head because I, I just like it a bit more. It kind of goes with the pose, the shouting, like the roaring. Uh, this guy here is a weird one. So I saw this guy on eBay again with, and I was like, okay, check this kind of scale. And I suppose he could be a um, killer can. Let me just check. So my other killer cans. Uh, I don't know if this guy's more of a dreadnought or what. He's a bit small, yeah. So I'm not sure. But anyway, that. Um, so you'll notice here the, the paint is a bit weak as well. I think what I did, I was experimented with spraying him with red undercoat, um, which kind of left out a lot of the black. Uh, if I sprayed him black and then red over it, maybe it would have been better. But when. It, when you dry brush red over black or and kind of build it up through layers it, the black is still underneath to create shadow whereas this guy's kind of all kind of flat which is a pity but anyway i'd use him as a killer can possibly because the goblins in wow uh, world of warcraft are similar enough to uh, the goblins in fort rick or uh, that kind of thing in the way that they kind of build stuff ramshackle kind of stuff so i saw like a lot this isn't a lot of conversion like a this shoulder is all converted and you'll see this is where I, I did actually bother doing some riveting. This is, you know, the shooter from the old um, old war bike and what I'll say, so the choppers or the big claw is basically what it was in the set. And it, between this and this kind of, that's what sold me on, on the miniature. And this here, those gun barrels are slack actually. That's not great, I should have done better there. And the shoulder pad is some uh, plastic card and stuff like this and just gave him a head. Not for no reason really, just because I think it's kind of nice to, like I did, this is kind of the first one I did before the kind of, uh, in my other videos, like the one I just showed here, the, like these guys here, to make them, to make them a bit more like robots, uh, automatons will say that go by themselves, rather than, they're controlled, but anyway, and just some extra wires added in, uh, I think I changed his pose, Looks like he's going through a lot of muck. That looks more like muck than it does sand. So, yeah. But yeah. And just extended maybe his back. Like that's a flame of a burner boy back. And just like some pipes and stuff. And the goblin is the goblin that was in the set. Because I think he, he's okay. He fits in pretty well. So that's that. Just kind of experimenting. And this guy here was originally a ogre model. So I'll, I'll pop that up here if I can find it. 
um, you'll see I kind of changed it a lot it's basically just the body and the legs because the two arms so you might recognize this arm is from the old uh, metal I think you can get them in fine cast or whatever now uh, I haven't got one in fine cast but I've got a few we'll say from eBay the metal war boss um, with the squig or attack squig or whatever I think it came with two variants but yeah custom axe here just extra spikes you know for more uh, killiness um, shoulder pads like a lot of work in just armoring the fuck out of them uh, I didn't know what direction to kind of go with his helmet so not super happy with it to be honest kind of looks like Ned Kelly kind of stuff do you know like his helmet or whatever um, in some kind of ways kind of brutal and simple and then a lot of just uh, it's pretty stompy like I, I like him so he'd be a mega armored war boss I'd say in the back is kind of all over the place this pipe's a bit big but uh, this bits and bobs stuck on uh, boss pole again shoulder pads I could have probably could have went bigger with the shoulder pads because bigger is always better more spikes and this is a, a gun arm from one of the Kromlech ones or you know a Chinese Kromlech uh, which, which are all good that I got a few of uh, with an extra barrel just for safety um, so that's him anyway and kind of all the kind of bases built up with Millipop um, and just, just add some detail so these guys you might tell like they've kind of been finished to a certain extent and then kind of it that's okay kind of they're done kind of thing but scale wise like for these guys so that's him that's a war boss size for sure you know I, I like it maybe the pose could be a little bit better or I should have went for a different head I think there's just not a lot of expression in that head and this guy I don't know if he's exactly kill a can size but um, I, I'd, I'd leave it go anyway so this is actually one of my favorite little uh, conversions of it for orcs and I plan on do some more of these guys so this the base of this is a kinder surprise little pullback bike so you pull it back and it goes forward you know that kind of action uh, but just orcified and put an orc on it I like it doesn't really make sense in the way that the wheel is so smooth but I could have you know green stuff that, green stuff that up to give a bit of texture to make it, make it actually look like a tire but yeah built up with pipes on the back orc riding it um, even this I'm pretty proud of just a little bit of plastic is from um, you know plastic could be a blister pack but yeah it's actually tiny so you know it's got that comical side as well and he's got the, the orc on top with some uh, uh, black orc bits um, it combined with whatever these are from a bike I assume um, yeah just kind of working all together with the slug on the back uh, fair, fair enough he doesn't have a big shootout but like whatever and then the bottom here just for a little bit of diorama kind of stuff but yeah I really like him uh, doing the wheelie of course and there's a few of them I, I, I would like to have a few more of these just for the, the comical effect or have you know a lot of different ramshackle ones you know like the different kind of um, boy, uh, biker boys I've discussed in the past to kind of just have all sorts going in, in the gang um, but this guy is like one of the first ones I think I dipped so I went pretty heavy on it and I kind of regret it considering I should have just started with some boys for tests so that's something to learn that if you're gonna um, do a new technique to test it on maybe not one of your converted models but yeah that's scale wise you know I think he's okay fair enough the base is different than a usual biker but yeah I like him so I made a video a while ago to, just to show how good uh, Hulk toys and stuff can be for uh, models for orc models so this is another example that I've actually made and so the body is an orc uh, hero clicks I think it is model and I saw him on eBay and the muscle structure and stuff I thought was his class and he'd really suit the I had an idea for the pose and stuff like that fair enough the shorts and stuff is a bit odd but yeah so all these different bits added on are orc uh, orky bits or you know plastic art and that and um, kind of green stuff up his pants or his um his feet there to add just a little bit more and just <laughs> a little tiny bits of armor all over him, but he's more cyborg this is a he head from it's not Mantic Games, it's Max Mini, I'm pretty sure. So they do some pretty nice ones. Very Terminator. So that's pretty awesome. I think it really worked well in fixing it with the combination of the fact um, his bare torso uh, mixed with the, the big power claw arm. And this Hulk miniature actually had some kind of robotic arm as well. But yeah, so it kind of worked really well. I think this is another one of my favorites and just like a lot of servos and wires and stuff like this he's got a rocket on there too i think just for a for 
safety again I guess so not a lot of armor but fuck it I think he looks great and then to cover that he actually does have a gun he's got a little Gretchen now I'm pretty sure this Gretchen's pretty old he could even be a goblin from Warhammer Fantasy I'm not sure so that's another he's, he's hardly a snotling like, I'm not sure but anyway like a blunderbuss yeah there you go and his pose uh, accentuated by the base I kind of lifted it up so he's more directed forward so he's one of my favorites as well Power Claw uh, War Boss I think he looks pretty awesome so last up is these guys just some vehicles I put together the basis of this I'm not even sure what it was I think it was originally a very old Kinder Surprise kind of, not Kinder Surprise what was it Happy Meal toy that makes sense for the size of it and just like Orcified basically as a buggy um, it, nothing, nothing super special really just he kind of reminds me of Wacky Races kind of uh, just armor plates all covered over I like I'm pretty happy with the, with the paint job considering it's it's red but it's it's dirty red so it's not it doesn't look freshly painted or anything like that just a little ram there on the front probably could have done with more scratches um, and a big flame of, what would that be from it's a combination oh this is from battle wagon I think extra bits and yeah you, you see what it is anyway it's a big flame or so um, yeah and the big barrel on the back was from you know a toy kit or something like this and just armored up and some more pipes um, and a driver instead of actually you know having a, a driving uh, like a steering wheel just some 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 pedals and some uh, levers will do I think a little bit of a roll cage for safety some goggles there so I didn't go super heavy on, on the detail on him I don't think he's even got legs if you look in but who's gonna do that um, that's that yeah as a little buggy I think it works um, this one was I think it was charity shop find just a little tank um, and I was like, you know, if you look on, on Google, there's so many pictures of fantastic orc vehicles. Like, fair enough, there's some crap ones, but the majority of them are just great, and they change things completely. But this is just pretty simple. It's just building on a lot of armor plates, rivets, different colors. I think this is another one that I sprayed originally in red, so you'll see that there's a lot of red in between. There's not a lot of shadow, do you know what I mean? It's very flat red. So I think it would have been better to do it in black and then put the red over it. But yeah, there you go. Like I said, you kind of learn as well. Um, so fuel tanks at the back for whatever reason um, for storing fuel probably <laughs> and uh, a big weak point and this guy in the front you'll even see here or in front on, on the top I mean he you can kind of tell that he's been undercoated in red and not actually black um, which is kind of a pee but I think it works and it just I just had the turret kind of maneuverable or uh, removable even just for ease of paint and stuff like that but like, there's something about vehicles I don't love maybe it's because uh, look, something about uh, painting vehicles vehicles I don't love just because maybe I don't have an airbrush or anything like that and I assume airbrush would be so fast and kind of clean and flat so maybe that's something to look into and then just a bit of an explosion here for whatever reason like it's so small like I don't know there'd have to be a Gretchen in here you see like to look out and him on the top I don't know it could be a Gretchen tank could be a Grot tank like um I don't know if people usually call them Gretchens or Grots anymore. Either or probably works. But that's him anyway. That's it anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let me know, you know, what you think. Um, they, uh, they were made a while ago now, these guys. Some of these guys were made uh, over, you know, two years ago. So I've kind of, I think I've gotten better from then. Uh, maybe put a little bit more time into what I'm making as well. A little bit more of a nicer finish but yeah let me know if you've made any cool stuff out of toys be it for actual 40k stuff or just you know fun i think uh combining the two genres of say rpgs and with, uh, 40k a war gamer kind of stuff is kind of what, what i like doing um you know be it, it kind of with the channel anyway be it with yeah, the toy to minis for the, all sorts of games you know rpgs anything goes kind of stuff and combining that with a little bit of 40k orc uh, fun so if you, if you make anything similar yourself, let me know. But yeah, cheers for watching.